Hello everyone, I hope you continue to be well and safe. Today our Sunday School lesson is titled, God's Just Servant. This lesson would have normally been our Sunday School lesson for Palm Sunday. Our scripture, uh, focus scripture, comes from the 42nd chapter of Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break. And a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth. And the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. If you have a participant book, you can read the, the author's material that uh, he puts along with it. But um, Isaiah described... Uh, the people are in captivity in Babylon and have been in captivity for decades. And Isaiah has burst on the scene with word of good news that the time of mourning is ended and that God comes with might to deliver a captive people and the glory of the Lord will be revealed. Isaiah speaks of a human uh, agency from God described as my servant. He will bring forth justice to the nations, establish justice in the earth. Uh, this servant will not come in force. Justice will be established by the Lord through weakness and humility and be a light to the nations. If you have your participant book, we will now read the uh, word today that the author uh, wrote that, uh, for our participant book. Since 2013, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America has set aside an annual dedicated day of service. Thousands of congregations and myriad members serve communities in ways that share the love of God for all people and the creation. The theme for that day precisely summarizes the, the theological insight behind the practice. Yellow shirts and hats proclaim God's work, our hands. The notion is that one primary way God, uh, uh, God achieves justice and dignity for all people and the creation is through the work of God's people. Justice is established in the earth when God's people use their skills and resources to serve the neighbor and the creation. The truly fascinating part of God's work, our hands, is how people who would not identify themselves as spiritual giants or especially noteworthy servants of God doing things that are profoundly spiritual and enormously powerful. For example, Good Shepherd Lutheran in Somerville, New Jersey, made blankets for a local women's resource center packaged food for food insecure children in their uh, county, and continued work on the Stamp Out Despair campaign. In the latter, the congregation prepared 230 
packets of information stationary and a handwritten note of concern to carcer incarcerated inmates so that the prisoners might communicate with their families and attorneys. Imagine yourself as a prisoner who receives a packet with tangible tools to help you communicate with your loved ones and act, uh, access legal help. Imagine yourself as a child now filled with food given as a gift that your parents, for whatever reason, could not provide. Imagine fleeing to a shelter to escape domestic violence and finding yourself wrapped in a blanket given as a symbol of God's enveloping love. What might you come to know of God through these? No strings attached, acts performed by God's servants. God's work is done not by force or power, but by gentle care for the, for the bruised reeds and nearly extinguished lamps. The servant of God opens neighbor's eyes, whether next door or in uh, legislative capitals, so the blind may see the need. The servant discovers whatever has bound the prisoner, homelessness, addiction, lack of access to health care, mental illness, whatever, and then does what is necessary to loosen those shackles to set the imprisoned free. We recently may have followed uh, humble Jesus through the branch strewn streets of Jerusalem to the cross. Isaiah also leads us to Jesus. Jesus fully incarnated the life of loving service to which Isaiah's service, uh, servant points. Jesus bids us to follow him, not just on a congregation's day of service, but every day until God establishes justice in all the earth. Until then, it is God's work, our hands. These days, we serve our neighbors by practicing social distancing. Uh, we all are longing to return to direct service of our neighbors. Please join me in prayer on page 49. Jesus, you taught us to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and visit prisoners in order that we might minister to you. Open our eyes to see our neighbor's needs that we may be better servants. We ask it in your name. Amen.